amusement park tickets as ever make sure you have tried this set before you jump in and see the solution otherwise there's no point right each visitor to an amusement park needs to buy a ticket tickets can be platinum gold or economy visitors are classified as old middle aged or young the following facts are known about visitors and ticket sales on a particular day and tickets are platinum gold or economy three classes old middle aged or young and so straight away thinking is is this some kind of set theory question right but this is not a set theory question so think about this tickets can be platinum gold or economy these look like classifications that will not overlap visitors classified as old middle aged or young once again classifications that do not overlap friend if you, if you if you're saying somebody can be a, a somebody can like cars some people can like buses some people can like taxis then there can be overlap but tickets platinum gold or economy so there's unlikely to be an overlap across these unlike to be an overlap across this and so keep that in mind so we need to be able to draw out the template very early on in these kind of questions right the following facts are known about visitors and ticket sales on a particular day 140 tickets were sold the number of middle aged visitors was twice the number of old visitors while the number of young visitors was twice the number of middle aged visitors right <coughs> so middle aged is twice old visitors so if old was x middle aged is 2x young visitors was twice the number of middle aged visitors young is 4x 7x is 140 or x is 20 straight away we've got this classification right young visitors bought 38 of the 55 economy tickets that were sold and they bought half the number of platinum tickets that were sold wonderful so this this now after seeing this statement we know that is going to be classified as old middle aged young and platinum gold economy we put the total share and the total share the overall total is 140 that's how we are going to capture this data the total old age is 20 total middle age is 40 total young is 80 adding up to 140 the total economy tickets is 55 young economy is 38 and then we fill the rest of the details from there and so now i've got the template i'm going to draw out this table and then fill the data in then we'll go to the questions right so old middle age young we know that this is 20 this is 40 this is 80 we know economy is 55 of which young is 38 the young they bought half the total number of platinum tickets that were sold so the total number of platinum were 2y this would be y and so beautiful we just filling some of the data in and then 2y and y one of them the number of gold tickets bought by old visitors was equal to the number of economy tickets bought by old visitors so gold is equal to economy if this is z this is z this is y this is 2y when right. now let's fill the rest of the details in whatever we can with the same variables this is 2y 140 55 140 minus 55 is 85 from 85 we knock off 2y this will be 85 minus 2y 30 minus 80 minus 38 is 42 this is y this is 42 minus y and this is 55 this is 38 gone so 17 remaining this is z this will be 17 minus z 2z gone from 20 this will be 20 minus 2z we can find this in terms of these variables this in terms of these variables add these up get to 40 we're getting somewhere and so this is the broad outline that we will have so i'm going to fill in these data points and so this we know is 85 minus 2y this is 20 minus 2z and now it is already clear that we cannot fill in all the data sets so that there are only four piece of information we know the totals which is very helpful we know that this is 2y and this is y we know these two are equal we know this is 38 and 55 from that we have made this inference visa v z using z and we have made this based on this equation and we can find this in terms of z and y we can find this in terms of y and z once again 
So we can use all of this information, but we're not going to go any further than having these variables. We're not going to be able to completely fill the grid with numbers. We're not going to know that this is 23 and this is eight and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're not going to be able to fill numbers into this grid slot. So we're going to retain whatever expressions we have completed so far and then try to solve the rest of the questions from there. Wonderful. So if you have seen this far, fill this grid to this point and then look to answer questions after that. We filled in the broad outline of uh, the values into the different cells using the variables y and z. So we know that these two are equal, z and z. So this should be 20 minus 2z. This is y, so this is 42 minus y. These three add up to 140. This is 85 minus 2y. So we can find this also in terms of y and z because these two will add up to add up to this. And this in terms of y and z and by linking that this should add up to 40. We're not doing all that. We'll come to that. Maybe we don't need to fill this because there are too many variables in. We know that we cannot get to the individual answers. The simpler cells we have filled in. Right? The number of old visitors buying platinum tickets was the number of middle-aged visitors buying platinum tickets. Old platinum is equal to middle-aged platinum. Then which among the following could be the total number of platinum tickets sold? So this is 20 minus 2z. This should also be 20 minus 2z. These two add up to y or y should be equal to 40 minus 4z 20 minus 2z plus 20 minus 2z these two together add up to y we have another y remaining we need to find 2y and so 2 times y is 2 times 40 minus 4z or this is 4 times 20 minus 2z or this 8 times 10 minus z or this number should clearly be a multiple of 8. So the only possible value is 32. That's a multiple of 8. And the choice A works. These three are not multiples of 8. The other way of thinking about it, this is an even number. And we are looking at 4 times an even number. Even number is a multiple of 2. 4 times an even number has got to be a multiple of 8. The number of old visitors buying gold tickets was strictly greater than the number of young visitors buying gold tickets. The number of middle-aged visitors buying gold tickets was old buying gold tickets strictly greater than young buying gold tickets. And so Z is strictly greater than 42 minus Y or Z plus Y is greater than 42. We need to find this cell. You don't even know what we are finding. So let's find that cell in terms of maybe Y and Z and then we'll come back to this. This cell here is going to be 85 minus 2Y minus 42 minus Y minus Z. 85 minus 42 is 43 minus 2Y plus Y is minus Y minus Z or this is 43 minus of Y plus Z. Now, we know that y plus z is greater than 42. We know that the number we are looking for is 43 minus of y plus z. This number cannot be negative. y plus z is greater than 42. The minimum it can take is 43. This were 43, this number would be 0. There is no other possibility because it cannot be negative. The, the, the minimum value y plus z can take is 43. So there's only one possibility for this y plus z will be equal to 43. Number of middle-aged visitors buying gold tickets was zero. Wonderful question because we simplified this, we simplify this. Luckily enough, the moment you simplify this and this, we know that this inequality effectively means that y plus z can only be 43. Only one possibility exists. The number of old visitors buying platinum tickets was equal to the number of uh, middle-aged visitors buying economy tickets. Old buying platinum is middle-aged buying economy. Then the number of old visitors buying gold tickets was, and this seems an easy question. We know that 20 minus 2z equals 17 minus z. And we need to find z. Or 20 minus 17 is minus z plus 2z. 3 equals z. Z is 3, we've got 3 as the answer. That's a fairly simple question if you fill the right variables in. Which of the following statements must be false? A very interesting question, tricky question. So let's go step by step. 
the numbers of gold and platinum tickets bought by young visitors were equal. Young visitors, gold and platinum were equal. These two should be equal. These two add up to 40 t 42. This should be 21. This should be 21. That means this should be 22. Sorry, this should be 2y, 42. 21, 21, 42. 85 minus 2y. This is 43. So far, so good. This is 42. This is 43. 42 plus 43 is 85 plus 55, 140, 21, 21, 38. That seems to work. It, there, there, nothing seems to be going anomalously wrong so far. And so maybe something else will go wrong. So maybe something else will break down. But I'm going to keep the pin on it and say, okay, I'll revisit this. Maybe something, else, some other choice is, is very obviously false. So I'll jump on that. Otherwise, I'll come back and see this. So far, everything seems to work. Go to the second statement. The number of middle-aged and young visitors buying gold tickets were equal. Middle-aged and young buying gold. So this is also 42 minus y. Right, so this is 85 minus 2y. These two add up to 84 minus 2y. That means this is 1. This is 1. That means this is 18. Right, so we've got z is 1. This is 16. Therefore, this seems to be fine. This seems to be fine. We may be able to put some value of y and then fill everything else out. Once again, we do not know that this has to be false. Nothing, no dead giveaway here either. Again, we'll revisit this. We fill these numbers. If all four statements take us to a dead end, then we'll come back here and, and revisit and see where it could break down. But as of now, we, we're not able to see an obvious point where it could break down. Let's go to statement C. The number of old and middle-aged visitors buying economy tickets were equal. Old and middle-aged buying economy. Old economy, middle-aged economy. These two, these two add up to 17. Because 38 out of 55 are accounted for. They cannot be equal. So this one is obviously false. We don't even have to process it completely. This is most definitely false. I'm answering C. I don't, we don't really have to re-evaluate A and B. And for the sake of completion, I'm going to look at D as well, but I'm confidently marking C without going back to see whether A and B can be wrong somewhere else because of some other reason. Statement D, the numbers of old and middle-aged visitors buying platinum tickets were equal. These two are equal. We've already done this. We Y by 2 and Y by 2, 20 minus 2 Z, 20 minus 2 Z. This seemed to be nothing wrong. The total seemed to be 32. Nothing wrong here either. This is a statement that is most obviously false. That's the one we are looking for. So it's a classic set. It's a tough set. Two questions were very tough. Uh, the, initially, when I tried the set, I thought it was very easy. Everything is going to get filled in and just going to mark down the answers. Uh, the question number two really threw me off. It's a wonderful, wonderful set. 